What is up guys? My name is Nick and welcome back to another Black Ops 6 best class setup for you. Now guys, today I got two classes for the AK-74 that you guys are going to want to start using because this gun is absolutely insane. It has practically no recoil. It's going to draw people really fast and has insane range. So I'm going to show this class to you guys. There's actually two of them. One of them is made for literally any single type of encounter, long range, close range, mid range. And the other class is made specifically for close and mid range for those smaller maps. Now, if you guys want to use this gun, you're trying to get headshots or whatever, you come to the right video video to help you guys out now before we get into it if you guys could drop a big fat like i would truly appreciate that sub to the channel those notice turned on as well and let's get into it we always got the best class setups now the first one i'm going to share with you guys is absolutely my favorite ak-74u class this one is it's just overpowered all right so the first thing we're going to do on this one is i kind of want to just show you guys what this thing looks like in the gun range so if you come into the gun range and we get rid of this target here we pull down the wall i want to show you guys that the recoil is actually really easy to control okay so it goes a little left and right i barely touch the, the right joystick just to show you guys you just got to control that a little bit and this thing's going to drop enemies really really quickly all right so we're going to go for the shots we're going to take a couple of shots here it just drops so fast people won't even see what's coming and uh, yeah it's just overall really really nice now first off the first thing you're going to want to throw on this in my opinion is the merlin mini optic all right this one right here is nice it's a small optic it doesn't take up too much space on your screen and it does a really good job at just keeping you steady after that we're going to move on to the next attachment which is going to be an under barrel all right now the under barrel on this one is going to be the vertical foregrip now the reason you want this is because it gives you horizontal recoil control like i said the horizontal recoil is a little wild on this one so you definitely want to throw that on to make the gun just seem a little bit better a little better at range and all that kind of stuff right after that, we're going to go over to the barrel, and on the barrel, we're going to throw on the long barrel. Now, this one's going to give you just damage range. It's what you want on this gun. You want this gun to be really good at long range, close range, mid range, all that kind of stuff. So throw on the long barrel, and it's going to give you that right there, and it's going to feel really solid. Then we're going to go over to the magazine, and what I like to run instead of extended mags, I actually like to run fast mags to reload faster. Now, you only get 30 bullets in the magazine, which kind of sucks, but overall, I think it's fair. I think it's a good attachment to throw onto the gun. Extended mags is cool. You get 40, you get 10 extra bullets, but then it takes a little too long to reload, and this, these maps are so small. There's literally people running everywhere. You do not want to spend that time reloading, so make sure you guys throw on fast mags. It's going to be really good on the gun. And then finally, for the rear grip, we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw on the assault grip. And this one right here is going to give you sprint to fire speed. You could even run the commando grip theoretically for ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, but I find the ADS is already decent. I rather up my sprint to fire speed and make that a lot faster, which is why I chose to go for the assault grip rather than the commando grip. And these are all the attachments right here. You guys can see these are the five attachments on this class. It's really good. It's a nice class. It's good for every single range. You guys will draw people far, close, mid, long. Doesn't matter. You are going to be dropping people with this thing right here now the next class i want to share with you guys is if you're playing on those smaller maps and you want to be able to change a few things up you want to be able to play a little bit quicker you want to be able to draw people catch people off guard and whatnot this class is going to help you guys do a lot of that now there's going to be one attachment that's really important on this class but we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that first off i'm going to be running the merlin mini again the merlin mini optic like i said it's small it's nice it does the trick it's something you want to run on this gun. It's just, it's overall really, really good. Now, before I go on to the rest of this class, let me show you guys this thing in the firing range as well, just to show you what I'm talking about, all right? So it's really good for close and mid, but once you start shooting this thing, the recoil is a little wild. Like it went up and then it went down and then it went back up and stuff. It's a little wild, the recoil. It's a little tough to control, but once you get the hang of it, you will be dropping enemies really, really quick at close and mid range. You can see how easy I could control it right there. By the time you drop them, the recoil won't even have time to kick in or anything. So right there, it kicked in as you guys can see if you miss your shots so make sure you're not missing your shots and you should be all right the next attachment on this one is going to be the under barrel again and we're going to stick with the vertical foregrip the reason you want this one is because this thing is fast this, this thing shoots wild you do not want this gun going left and right like crazy you're going to need that on this and the only reason that you're also going to want to run this is not just because of that that's not actually the only reason i don't know why i said that but because there's going to be another attachment that's going to make this one really important to have onto the gun and then we're going to move on to the grip and this one right here is where i actually suggest running the commando foregrip and or the commando grip and the reason you want this is because you want that ads and sprint to fire to be up this is a close range gun you want to be good in all sorts of ranges you want to be able to draw people in all sorts of encounters this is the one that you're going to want to run for that those type of situations so it's going to be good as well then instead of a magazine instead of a barrel we're going to go to the stock and we're going to throw on the heavy stock this is going to give us flinch resistance you want this as well because once this gun if you are missing shots and the recoil gets a little crazy and 
stuff. You don't want to start flinching while somebody shoots at you. And that's because of the last attachment that we're going to throw onto this thing. It's going to make this gun insane. It's what makes this gun really good. And that is the fire mods. And we're going to put on the rapid fire for an increased fire rate. You're going to be dropping SMGs up close. You're going to be dropping all that. But because of this attachment, you're losing vertical recoil control. You're losing horizontal recoil control. And the reason I say this one is close and mid range is because you're also losing bullet velocity and damage range. So if you're playing like Babylon or any maps like that in that type of size, this class is going to do you wonders. It's going to be really good. If you're playing in like on the larger maps, like red card and all that kind of stuff, that's where I recommend using the other class setup just because it's bigger maps. It's made for those. This one's made for rushing and stuff. But let me know what you guys think of the AK-74 down in the comments below. Does it, does it meet your expectations? I personally love it, but I find it a little hard to get headshots. Do you guys feel that as well? I don't know. I just feel like getting headshots with this gun is not as easy as the XM4, for example. And that might be because of the recoil control. I don't know. I, I just feel like I, I should be getting a lot more headshots than I am but they end up being chest shots and that could be because of the visual recoil as well i see it on the head but it's not actually on the head but anyways that's it for the video guys if you did enjoy it make sure to drop a big fat like sub to the channel it always helps me out a lot i do appreciate that and let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite weapon in the game thank you guys for watching my name is nick and i'll catch you in the next one peace